Joe, firstly, welcome to Rangers. You must be delighted to join the club as head coach. I am, yeah. I'm thrilled to get started. Um, um, it's been a busy few weeks um, getting ready to go and the announcement and stuff, but yeah, I just can't wait to get in the building and, and meet the players and, and get pre-season started. What was it about Rangers that made it feel like it was the right fit for you? I think from, from minute one, when I, when I spoke to uh, the people that are involved at the club, that was just such a good feel about it. Um, you know, that it's all about people, it's all about connecting, it's all about, you know, working with really good people and having that family feel and that's something that really attracts me and, you know, with the, the club wanting to go forward and wanting to win things and, and hungry just to, just to be the best um, and that's, that, that matches my ambition. You know, I want to be the best at what I do, I want to make the players the best, I want to win trophies for this club, so yeah, I just feel like our ambitions and, and our, our forward way of thinking are matched. You've visited both Ibrooks and here at the Rangers training centre. What have your first impressions been of both places? Yeah, I think it's outstanding. The, the differences of the two venues, you, you know, you've got the tradition of Ibrox. So as soon as you walk in the place, you can, you can feel the past and it oozes, you know, the, the confidence and, and just the winning culture of, of that club. And you come to this training facility and it's, you can tell it's one of the best out there. So, yeah, this is, it's a really exciting place to be. And, yeah, I loved, I loved visiting both and getting the different sides of, of um, Rangers. Something the fans always want to hear from a coach is a vision. How would you describe your vision for Rangers? Well, how I play, how I like my teams to play is, you know, I like to have, be aggressive. I like us to be aggressive in possession and out of possession. I like a possession-based game. Um, you know, I like to win. I like to be adaptable. Um, yeah, I just want this club to go forward and, and find that, that spark again of winning trophies and, and enjoying watching the games of football and, and, and playing a certain way that feels good to play, which then transfers straight into the fans and, and you see that in the fans and, and bringing those along on this journey with us. I think, I think there's nothing more important than that for me. How do you think your experiences as both a player and a coach throughout your career can really help as you become obviously a head coach for the first time in your career? Yeah, I try to, I try to keep my player head on a little bit to know how it feels um, being in their boots you know, run the miles that they've run, you know, hit the lines and, and felt the way it feels to do certain things. So I try to stay really close to that. Um, yeah, and, and just use my gut, my instinct of being in those positions before. Um, I've coached for a really long time. I've, I've always coached while I've been playing, made sure that um, I, I, I made sure I dipped into both sides. I knew it's something that I always wanted to do. So yeah, I, I've always had my playing head on with my coaching hat. So I'll marry the two really well and I'm just trying to make sure that I continue with that throughout my journey and yeah, I'm, I'm really excited at the start of, of this head coach journey to, to make sure that I'm putting all that years of experience into practice. And how exciting a time is this to join the club and I guess do you feel you're inheriting a group of players who are hungry and they've got a point to prove as well? Absolutely and I've, I've spoken to one or two other players already and you know just the desire and the heart that they have and they want to give their all, they're, they're super professional. Um, they're the best players in the country that I believe and it's just bringing that out of them, making them believe that and showing that on the pitch and yeah, that's something I'm super excited about. And it's such an exciting time for women's football in general as it goes from, from strength to strength in terms of fan support. Yeah, it is and, and just with tournaments that are happening like this summer with the World Cup, I think it's great to see. Um, we saw the increase in popularity after last year's tournament and what that can do for the game, um, having Sky Sports involved is huge for the women's game and, and it just goes to show you put the women's game on a platform and people will watch. So, you know, we, we put us on a platform, we get there and we perform well. Um, people do want to watch and they will continue to watch and yeah, it's, it's just a, a really, a really forthcoming time for women's football. You know, you feel that as a player on the pitch, you feel that, that extra support when you, you get on the pitch and you hear the fans, it's, it's huge for the women's game and I think you see the levels go up when you see fans back in you know it gives you it does give you that extra 15 20 percent so it's crucial and it's vital for the for the players to perform yeah and as a club with strong foundations not only in the football department but the academy as well how big a role will the academy plays as you continue to shape the squad this summer yeah you can see it already just being in the building how how close everyone is and and having that close support with with the academy and i've already been you know spoken about about all the youth that are coming through and i've already had a look at them and i've already know their potential and what they can bring so that is very much at the forefront of my mind and I know that's at the very much at the forefront of the club's mind of bringing our youth through and making sure that they fulfil their potential and, and have a really good you know, platform to, to perform and, and grow as a human being as well as a player. Yeah, and it goes without saying at a club like Rangers, 
it's so important to team wrestle with the title back and, and get their hands in silverware again. It is, and I think you, you've got to go around that a certain way as well. We've got to know how that feels and how that looks and put the processes in day to day. We've got to, we've got to feel the winning mentality day to day, bring that um, impact into training and bring it into the club and you know, make, the, make the squad feel like we're winners. And like I said, do that in training. It'll come as easily as it can on a Sunday. And how important will it be to really hit the ground running in pre-season so we can have that fast start in the, in the league campaign? Yeah, I think it's, it's important that you know, coming in and a, and a new head coach and a new way of playing and a different style that you know, we really set that out early. So yeah, it's something that I'm going to put into place very early into pre-season, trying to marry up the physical aspects with the, the technical and tactical aspects. So yeah, we've, we've, we're well under the way in the, in the planning process. So it's, it's something that I'm excited about. But it's, it's massively important that you know, the players see a different way of playing and, and find a way to enjoy that and buy into that and, and push on. Yeah, and just lastly, what would your message be to the supporters and how much can they look forward to the future? Yeah, I'm, I just think that the supporters are massive. I think that without, without a shadow of a doubt, they add something to this squad, they add something to the players, and the players really feel connected to the fans, especially in the women's game. You know that, that we are make, we'll make sure that we're there every single week. We play for the badge. We play because we want to play. You know, and the fans turning up and showing that support, it, it just spurs them on even more. And yeah, it's 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 vitally important for us to go on and hopefully win things this year.